So hey everyone, I know I've been away for a while. Um, I am actually in the process of trying to revamp Very Thoughtful. I am trying to identify with um, who and what do I want Very Thoughtful to be. But the truth of the matter is, is I am working hard to revamp Very Thoughtful with the hopes of gaining um, maybe likes on Facebook or clients. But what I know in my heart is God is telling me that he created Very Thoughtful and he created the ministry that he placed inside my heart to help people deal with pain. Now, the, the issue or the, the wall I think I'm facing or dealing with is most of us do not believe that we're in pain. And certainly if we're in pain, many of us are trying to avoid it. What does avoiding pain look like? It looks like doing drugs. It looks like sleeping around. It looks like avoiding spending time by yourself. Um, it looks like running. Um, maybe you spend all your day just staring into a television. But a lot of times life just has it so that whether it was our parents that hurt us when we were young or the neighbor or a teacher, somehow we get scarred. And pain is not like water. Water, if you leave it sitting long enough, it evaporates. Pain does not evaporate. It, it sits dormant in the body. Pain is much like cancer. You assume that because you haven't dealt with it, you haven't thought about it in a while, that it's gone away. But pain doesn't work like that. Pain will attach itself to your heart. But then it hides. Um, it will hide in you being angry all the time, frustrated, getting in unhealthy relationships. It hides in your decisions. So I am posting this message to say you do not have to run or hide anymore. I also want to encourage you guys to get connected. The only true source to help you through true pain is God. Now, currently, here's my truth. I have been having some, I guess, a little disappointment um, in some churches. I know that God's word is powerful. It's true. It would change your life. The disappointment I'm experiencing is... I think it's sad that people would spend, especially in the Christian church, um, people would spend every Sunday going to church to hear kind of the same message. The Bible tells us that we are saved by our faith. So if you have faith in Christ, even Abraham, before Jesus came, it said Abraham was made righteous because he believed in God. So if you believe and you have faith, you're saved. Stop trying to earn your way into heaven. Stop trying to so-called get your life right for God. You're good with God. God loves you. He sent his son to die for you. That says a whole lot to me. So what I'm encouraging you to do is go deep into his word where he talks about his wisdom. The word of God teaches that his wisdom will protect you. It will protect you from painful decisions. It will protect you from continuously dealing with like these life cycles where you feel like nothing is going right in your life. Wisdom is the key. So you already have his love. He's already proved that by sending Jesus on the cross. Now it's time to dig into his wisdom. Let's make wise um, choices and decisions based out of his word. If you don't know it and you think the Bible's hard to read, just hang out in Proverbs. I promise you, if you open up that book, it will open up your heart. But it also will give you an opportunity to make smart decisions. This is where life-changing things happen. Many of us as Christians, we grew up in churches where, at least for me, this is my experience, where I felt like God was so more like a magician than the majesty that he is. Um, that I, I could go out, make stupid decisions, make poor mistakes, and then I go home and I pray to God, and I hope, wish, and pray every day, and I stay on my face, and then I want God to fix it and change it. Now, God is merciful, so sometimes he will swoop in and he will change and he'll make things different. But here's the thing. That doesn't have to be the only relationship that you have with him. You can have a relationship with him where you wake up in the morning and you say, Okay, Lord, what would you have me do today? And you spend enough time in his word that you can see it evidently. I promise you, it will change your life when you start living the wisdom of God. You have his love. Stop trying to get that. You got that. But start living his wisdom. So I'm sending this message out to say that if you're in pain, if you're in discomfort, and you're not even sure that you're in pain, but you know you feel stuck, or you know that you feel like your life should be more than what it is, or 
Um, you don't understand why you keep having these bad relationships over and over again. Why your money can't get right. That's pain. That's pain. That's being disconnected from God. And not, this is not me saying no, that you're not holy. I'm just saying disconnected. Maybe in that area of life. I spent years living in his wisdom in one area of my life and totally messed up in another area of my life. His word teaches wisdom in every area of our life. Give yourself time. Don't think you can get it all at one time and one night. God is not trying to magically change you. His Bible says we go from glory to glory to glory. That means that he knows little by little you'll get it. Little by little you'll change. But I'm just encouraging you guys to reach for the glory. Stop living these bottom shelf lives. God's word is full of promises. And I have this notion that if he said that I can have it and I don't have it, then it's something that I can do to get it. If he says that I can live life abundantly, I'm looking for peace abundantly, love abundantly, finances abundantly, joy abundantly. If he says that my enemy um, that can't come up against me, I, I'm not spending time thinking about him then. <laughs> What's the point? If my God has covered my enemy... Why am I giving them time, thoughts, and energy? In my heart, I don't even think I have enemies. And if I do, God got them. I don't have to worry about that. I don't blame people for stuff. I'm always looking for answers, and I'm looking for it in his word. I cry out to him, and I promise you, he answers your prayers. But spend time in his wisdom. Know that you are loved. I hope this helps someone. I'm just ready to help you guys shift and move out of the painful situations that you might find yourself in. Um, very thoughtful is here. My my sole heart and purpose is, yes, I want this to be my business. But more importantly, I want to help people move into the great life I know that God has promised us. So I hope this encouraged somebody. Uh, it took a lot for me to, to do this one. So in the sense of coming out of my own pride and doing what I believe God is asking me to do. So I hope this is a blessing to someone. Have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day. Make a different choice. Live a greater life. Bye-bye.